Hey, in this video, we're going to look at six tips on how to get more views on YouTube in 2021, and we're getting started right away. The first tip is to include and pin a call to action to a new video in the comments of your older videos. YouTube is a great platform for evergreen content. If you upload a video that doesn't have an expiration date, it can generate thousands of views for many months and possibly even years to come. When you're uploading new videos, a great way to give them a boost is to head to your older related videos or videos that are still performing well and include an enticing call to action with a link to the new video in the comment section. Then pin it to the top so that all future viewers who head to your comment section will see it. Now you can turn that evergreen content that may be three years old into a tool that can be used to boost your new content for free and organically. Tip number two is to design video thumbnails that viewers will want to click on. Your video thumbnails are one of the most important factors when it comes to getting more views on YouTube. They are the first thing that potential viewers see and if they don't capture attention and make the user want to click through, then they're not doing their job and your video just won't be promoted by YouTube. YouTube thumbnails are important first points of contact as they can appear in users recommended feeds and in the suggested bar. If your video finds success in these particular areas, then the algorithm will continue to push it more in these areas, which can then be the starting block to your video and channel going viral. Designing video thumbnails that viewers want to click on doesn't have to be challenging if you follow a few simple steps that I've outlined in this article. Tip number three is to make more content to help your viewers. By creating content that's helpful and solves a problem, your videos will have a good chance of appearing in search results as these will be videos that people are actively looking for. DIY and tutorial videos that help people solve their everyday hassles and problems can be a useful way to engage with an audience and capture their intention for the full duration of a video. For example, if you have a tutorial on how to remove ice from a car windshield, you as the viewer better pay attention. Because if you miss a step, it could mean that your car's windshield is going to shatter. So you better watch that tutorial three times over and make sure to check in the comments section that some other guinea pigs have already found it useful and that it actually works. Helpful content can also be in the form of entertainment, but generally the searchable version of this content involves some form of information or problem solving that people are looking for. Tip number four is to start using YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts is a new feature introduced to YouTube with vertical videos under one minute in length. With new features, it generally pays off to be an early adopter as when new features are introduced, there's generally a lack of content specifically made for it. You'll find YouTube Shorts appearing in the mobile YouTube app quite prominently. And based purely on the popularity of YouTube and vertical content currently, there is a large demand and a limited supply, which is where you can stand to benefit from hopping onto this feature before it becomes oversaturated. And then later when it does, you can optimize your content to suit whatever it is that YouTube wants to see in a short. As you've been doing shorts for longer, you'll be more experienced and should have an advantage over those that are just jumping then on board. Focus on creating fast paced and engaging content in your shorts. With only 60 seconds, there's no time to beat around the bush. Number five is to replicate topics and get video ideas from content that's already performing well. When videos perform well, there tends to be an audience-based interest in it. For your own videos, go into more detail, make a follow-up, or make a video with a similar focal point as the previous video that has already done well. It's very likely that your viewers that watched that previous video and enjoyed it will be very interested in any new videos related to that as well. For popular content that's not your own, when replicating a topic, make sure to put your own style on it. Do not copy what others are doing, but make it your own. There are many ways to do this, but two of the most popular is to replicate the content in your own unique video style or to create a video that provides the viewer with even more value than the original has. Tip number six is to optimize your YouTube videos for search, aka SEO. YouTube is a search engine, the second largest search engine in the world. By optimizing your videos for search results, you're positioning your content to be found by the exact people who are actually looking for it. Search engine optimization on YouTube involves a number of things, but the short version of it would be one, pick a topic within your niche for your video by looking for popular keywords you have a chance to rank for on YouTube. Two, find a less competitive but still often searched long tail keyword using the free TubeBuddy extension. Three is then to include this long tail keyword in your title description, tags, playlists, and so on, all in a natural way. And then number four is just to continue testing, testing, testing. And that's basically the short version. If you found this video helpful, tell YouTube. You can write them a detailed email outlining the aspects of the video you found most useful with timestamps and send it off to, yeah, okay, wait, that sounds like quite a bit of a hassle. So actually, if you found this video helpful, just give it a thumbs up. 
By now, some videos should be appearing on your screen to continue watching. If you haven't seen my other YouTube growth videos, there are even more YouTube tips for your channel, so check one of them out. In the meantime, I'm going to go do some keyword research. Ciao.